Tomorrow's competitive advantage will be determined by how well industry leaders innovate today. Having the right infrastructure will make all the difference in enabling them to deliver. Hey everyone, welcome to this event, Data Driven Starts with Intelligent Infrastructure. I'm your host, Lisa Martin. This segment is called Managing the Cost and Complexity of Hybrid Cloud Data Infrastructure. It's gonna focus on exploring the challenges customers are facing around data infrastructure and how they're solving them with Hitachi Vantara. Please welcome my guest, Dan McConnell, SVP Product Management and Enablement for Digital Infrastructure at Hitachi Vantara. Dan, great to have you on the program. Great to be here, thank you much, Lisa. So customers, Dan, across every industry are facing so many challenges that go well beyond just managing the growth of data, right? Out in the field, I'd love to know some of the things that you're hearing from customers about what they are expecting their data infrastructure to deliver. Absolutely. As you pointed out, data growth continues. Uh, no surprise there. Pick your alarming stat of the week. But uh, data growth it just in volume continues to grow. But it's not only the amount of that data, uh, it's also the importance of that data, not just the ones and the zeros, but, but what's actually in the data. Is it a social security number that can't be copied outside this region? Is it the personal iPhone picks that probably don't need to be backed up in triplicate? In the same vein, uh, increasing regulatory and compliance regulations surrounding that data as well as new requirements such as sustainability. Um, you know, How do I store the increasing amounts of data all while trying to drive a, a, a zero carbon footprint initiative? Um, and and uh, you know, all of this uh, in an increasingly more complex environment uh, with the introduction of edge and hybrid and multi-cloud, multi those are driving a much more distributed environment of data. And on top of all of this, to help solve all of these mounting challenges, they're faced with skill set shortages. Um, you know, they need they need an infrastructure that is automated and flexible with the agility of the cloud models, capable of managing cost and complexity of increasingly distributed hybrid environments. Also, one that is able to scale to meet growth demands while while understanding the actual information that resides in that data. So some great opportunities with respect to data, also some pretty significant challenges that you articulated. Let's kind of look into that. And one of the things that we know, Dan is Hitachi Vantara, well known for enterprise storage across every industry. I happen to notice that nine of the 10 banks are using Hitachi solutions, for example. So with customers needing this modernized data infrastructure, and you talked about hybrid edge, core, cloud, we know Hitachi is talking way more about selling boxes. So talk about how you're working and partnering together with customers to solve the challenges that they have that you were talking about. Absolutely. Um, to your point, our, our solutions are, are, are trusted. You mentioned nine out of 10 banks. It's nine out of 10 of the largest media. It's nine out of 10 of the largest telecom. Um, it, 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 there's, a, there's a good reason uh, for being trusted and, and trust is earned for many, many years. Uh, we've had infrastructure running the world's most mission critical workloads in the industry's toughest environments. We will continue to innovate and drive leadership uh, in, our, in our core storage products. But there are other strategic pillars as well that we are focused on that are shaping our offerings. Uh, the, the first one, um, driving ease of use through analytics and automation. Uh, this is lever leveraging the telemetry, analytics, and automation across the stack to reduce the complexity with what we'll call self-driving infrastructure. Uh, also, we are accelerating the transition to software-defined and hybrid-enabled, uh, transitioning our trusted traditional stacks into software-defined stacks to enable flexibility and agility, as well as the ability to run them in the cloud to create a seamless data plane across both on-prem and off-prem. And uh, lastly, delivering on as a service. This is both from a flexible consumption pay-as-you-go model, but also from a service level and manageability perspective. One of the things that caught my ear that you mentioned, Dan, is trust is earned. That is, trust is currency that is so incredibly important to talk to Ventura, I know to your customers as well. You talked about ease of use. You talked about reducing complexity, accelerating transition to software-defined. So let's double-click a little bit here. Walk me through some of those really 
tangible, concrete innovations that Hitachi Vantar is delivering to its customers? Will do. Much appreciated. Um, you know, a, a full full core portfolio refresh across mid range and en enterprise. Now that's you know it's it's core to our business. Uh, but but one particular innovating aspect here is that this includes a true scale out software defined version based on a common code base. So this is a a, a software defined storage based on our industry proven uh, a, a traditional code stack. That enables common management and common data services across mid-range, enterprise, and software defined wherever you run it, either on-premise or cloud hosted. Um, so a, a, another one, we recently released Cloud Connect. Uh, it's, a, it's a near cloud solution uh, that uh, enables the advantages of enterprise class storage, but direct connect. Uh, to major cloud service providers for use cases like compute scaling or backup and DR. Another one, uh, we re recently launched cybersecurity capabilities uh, that enables immutable copies, uh, as well as a cyber resiliency air gap solution on our, our, our VSP product line. Um, also, in general, a broader mindset shift uh, where we are treating our storage as much more of a continuous platform. Uh, the, the offering we call modern storage assurance, um, but uh, basically enables our, our platforms, obviously our, 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 our platforms scale as you grow from, from two controllers to four controllers to 12 controllers. So from a performance capability, they, they scale with you, uh, but also across generations as well with full data in place upgrades and no downtime. So your storage stays as a long-term platform as you scale in performance or as you grow over generations, um, much more of a consistent platform view of the storage. Uh, uh, in addition, uh, we released a, a, a cloud managed storage as a service solution um, as a part of our Everflex portfolio. Uh, with, it, it's got a standardized rate card, um, uh, uh, integrated uh, billing system or uh, billing system integration, um, as well as uh, automated provisioning for the on-premise storage. So uh, quite, quite a list of, of recent launches. Um, so no doubt we've been busy, but uh, you'll see we, we continue to be busy moving forward. That's a good thing. You mentioned Cloud Connect, cybersecurity capabilities, so important in today's cyber landscape. You also mentioned no downtime, which is probably music to everyone's ears, cloud managed storage as a service. So let's finish up, let's take it home, Dan, by talking about some, you know, some of the nuggets, the proof in the pudding the voice of the customer. I always think there's no better validation than what your customers are saying about their outcomes. So share with us a customer example or two that you think really articulates the value of what Hitachi is delivering. Absolutely, I'll, I'll share a few. Um, you know, one, uh, Hitachi has the pleasure of being a key strategic partner for BMW, uh, providing their enterprise cloud storage and data management. Uh, we deliver this as a service um, from, from Hitachi Ventara. This enables BMW with simple, agile, flexible solution that's pay-as-you-go to help them fuel their in, uh, innovation without uh, managing the underlying infrastructure, leaving that to, to people who are focused on, on managing the infrastructure. Um, another great example is, is Rabobank. Uh, this is a Netherlands-based financial services company. Uh, over 8 million customers across 39 countries managing over uh, 590 billion euros. Uh, the top priority for its IT teams is to build a reliable infrastructure that safeguards business continuity. Um, their, their private cloud grew quickly from, from 2,000 VMs to over 21,000 VMs. Uh, they, they, they handled that kind of scale through implementing an automated private cloud approach with the help of, of Hitachi Ventara uh, and our converged solutions. Uh, they, they leveraged our built-in automation capabilities that drove both a 40% increase in performance, but also notable improved operational efficiency and time to value. Uh, in fact, they, they, they handled 
uh, you know, what was over that that 10x scale without adding a single additional person to manage it. So they went from from 2,000 VMs to 21,000 VMs, all with the same uh, IT staff. Um, you know, a great example of of how analytics, automation, converge solutions can can uh, greatly increase operational efficiency. And I'm going to guess that we are just scratching the surface. You mentioned two great customer examples. I'm sure we're there are so many more. Unfortunately, we're out of time. But Dan, thank you for joining me on the program today, talking about what customers in every industry are expecting from their data infrastructure, the challenges that are there, but also how Hitachi is helping customers to eliminate those challenges one by one. We so appreciate your insights. Thank you so much for having me. All right, my pleasure. This is Lisa Martin on behalf of theCUBE and Hitachi Ventura. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more.